Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Let's do another run because I'm having so much fun and we'll do a random run. Hopefully we don't get Lazarus or Maggie or uh, oh, this is who I wanted to play <laughs> or Jacob, but we got Kane. Now, Tainted Kane. If you don't know what Tainted Kane is or how to play as him, I will explain it. And hopefully this doesn't interfere with our boss rush this time. We have a bag of crafting in the bottom right corner. We put consumables in the bag, and depending on what consumables are in the bag, we get items. Now, pre-patch, I remember a few recipes. We're gonna take a key, I think. Um, I remember that one bomb and seven pennies was the finger. I remember that three and four red hearts were both like HP upgrades. Uh, and there were a few other recipes that I, I vaguely remember. Like I remember there being like an easy um, recipe for, it's like you get what, a bone heart and tears up. Uh, divorce papers, I think? I don't remember what the recipe is. I just remember that being an easy recipe to remember. Uh, but I believe that Tainted Cane has been changed in the patch, and I think his recipes are now random, or rather, they're seeded. So TZRW12K3 is our seed. That affects the recipes. So we can't just say, oh hey, one bomb, seven pennies is the finger, and we can just stack those up for all of our damage. Or, you know, we can't just say, I remember this, uh, recipe from a previous run that was really good, I'm just gonna use that same recipe over and over again. You know, you can't say, you know, this is the recipe for birthright. If you get this recipe, you can uh, get more, you know, consumables out of items and then you can just fall out of control. So, as Tainted Cane, if we pick up an item, bleh, it's, it just turns into other items. Uh, we're just gonna take these pennies and fill it. Oh, one of those was a lucky penny. Uh, we're just gonna fill up the bag, and as soon as we get eight items in our bag, we'll be able to get an item, and I b do believe that it is random. Now, I'm sure that uh, Gladier in chat already uh, confirms this. I'm sure, just like po uh, pre-patch, post-patch, people are gonna data mine the game, they're gonna figure out the recipes, and you're gonna be able to, um, you know, know exactly what items give you what, um, $3 bill. Uh, what consumables give you what items? Like, they're gonna be able to look up the recipes, but I'm just gonna randomly find recipes. You know, I'm just gonna play the game. Continuum, I think I'm actually gonna take, how do I take? Uh, hold alt? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it. Um, Cause I remember Continuum being really interesting and powerful with pop eyeball tears, so if we ever get the opportunity to take pop eyeball tears, I think we're gonna be very happy to have Continuum. That's that's gonna be my, uh, my assumption there. That's gonna be my go-to. Um, if we can get pop, this'll, this'll immediately shine. But uh, for now, we'll just keep moving on. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about that, they did nerf pop eyeball tears. The pop shots only bounce eight times instead of infinitely, but whatever, you know. It's still a, a nice sizable range upgrade and we can shoot over rocks now, so I'll take Continuum. We don't need to take perfect items every time we take an item, we just gotta take good enough items to win. And uh, part of the enjoyment of Kane, we've already done Boss Rush, part of the enjoyment of Kane is just trying to discover recipes. You know, learn or try to guess when it's worthwhile to just take a recipe because it's got a stat that you want versus trying to hold out for the best recipe possible. I'll take a speed up for instance. Why not? The belt is a good speed upgrade. Um, there's a few other uh, changes made to Kane, including the, the consumables that you put in the bag. If the, the better consumables have a better, uh, a larger impact on getting higher quality items. So if you get a lot of, I should have picked up the HP. If you get a lot of high quality items, rather consumables, you'll get a very high quality item guaranteed, I think. Anyways, I'm gonna learn some of this as I go here because this is somewhat new to me, at least playing on the patch. 
Blah, blah, blah. Are consumables persistent? Asks, asks GT Cork. If you mean I can leave a consumable behind and then go back and pick it up, then yes. Have I been doing that? No. Am I lazy? Yes. Is that the reason? Yes. <laughs> but really, I should be, uh, you know, leaving consumables on the ground, going back, picking them up. But you know, without knowing recipes, there's less of an incentive to do that, and there's more of an incentive to just pick stuff up. I'll pick up a bomb, and I'll put the other stuff in the bag, and uh, we might as well do, you know, this area because it's uh, it's interesting. You get more items. You get choices of items. We'll do it. Well, I guess you don't actually get choices of items because there's no choice. The choice is is a lie. It's a fake choice. No, 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 no. Definitely don't want to lose my deal with the devil. We'll definitely go deals with the angel. Deal with the devil items don't matter um, because you can't pick up any items. So we might as well go deals with the angel. Revenge fly. I'm definitely gonna pick up a revenge fly. That's pretty good. Now there was a nickel back there. And I don't mean the band. We're gonna leave behind. I'm actually gonna pick this up to preserve a deal with the devil chance. We're gonna start leaving behind consumables now. And we'll try to We'll try to pick up cheap recipes early and then we'll make an expensive recipe later with the, the nickel or something. Like I'll make one cheap recipe, you know, I'll get like another penny and I'll see if it makes anything interesting. Um, and then after that we'll leave all the other consumables on the ground. You, you generally want to leave the consumables on the ground so you can get, um, you know, a lot of opportunities to change your recipe. You know, replace a penny with a bomb, replace a penny with a key, replace a key with a pill, and you know, so on and so forth until you get a, a perfect recipe. You know, a damage up would be phenomenal. I don't know if you can put a bag in the recipe, but maybe we'll try to do that later. So we got another fly item. Um, it's not a good fly item, but I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna take it. If we get a third fly item, we get Beelzebub, which gives us flight. So I would like to have flight. So I'm gonna take this one, Obsessed Fan. It's actually not bad. It's the one that follows you. I thought it was the one that followed the wall, which is way worse. The one that follows you is uh, fine, as long as you're not playing pre-patch Tainted Jacob, that is. So now I'm, I am just gonna basically leave all consumables on the ground, um, and then we'll backtrack at the end just to pick them. Oh, let's see, hold on. Nah, it just opens it up, whatever. I guess I could, you know, just dump them in the bag and see what we get early, but this is fine. Come on, Sci-Fly's a GT Quark. Sci-Fly's been nerfed. <clears throat> Excuse me, still a little bit stuffy. Sci-Fly's been nerfed, it's still good, but it's not as good as it once was. It's got a bit of a cooldown on it now. I I think. I read. I heard. Ba -da -da. Ba -bram -bram. Hello. What is in this room? Nothing. You just gotta hit the buttons. Wow. I like stuff's actually dying at a decent pace. I'll just put you in the bag at this point. We need some items, <laughs> like, we're, we're taking items, certainly, but we need, like, tears and damage. If we can find a good recipe for that. And if we find a good recipe, we should definitely try to remember what it is and then re reuse the recipe. For instance, I think Obsessed Fan was two hearts and the rest pennies, so we might be able to easily get Beelzebub off of that alone. And what I like about the, the changes to Kane is that it's gonna make the Kane runs feel a little bit more unique if you're not spending the spending the effort like looking up the recipes and entering your game seed and stuff like that. Like, you're gonna have a uh, more, uh, you're gonna have a chance of just getting different items every run, which is just way more interesting, I think. Let's 
stop throwing your flies at me. How can you just summon so many flies? So we're not gonna go for deals with the devil because it costs us HP for the items and we don't get anything good out of them. Instead, we'll grab panties. And um, I guess we'll just chuck things inside the bag and see what we get. Healing. I don't think I want that. Yo, this is a good item. So we are Beezlebub! I didn't think it would actually count as a fly, but I guess it is a giant fly item. I, I, Little Plum? We got Little Plum is his name. And now we fly, and Little Plum is actually pretty good. So that's that's not bad at all. Um, you know, I'm actually gonna pick up the nickel, weirdly enough, because I really want arcades to spawn. So there you go. Bag, bag, bag. I would like to also find secret rooms. I'm gonna pick up, you know, an occasional bomb here and there. Ooh. Oh, we also get flies on our side, which is nice. So this will give us a black heart, I believe? No, it gave us a uh, rotten heart, which is also fine. That's a lucky penny. Yum heart. It's a good item. Syringe. I'm gonna take it. You wanna know why? Because syringes, and I should've looked at the recipe or tried to remember it, but syringes, if we get enough of them, will get um, the ability to have, I was looking for the doorway, um, spun, and spun is a damage upgrade, so it's a, a good way of just accumulating a damage upgrade and also accumulating items on top of it. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Uh, another bomb might find a secret room if it was here, but we're just gonna leave. We did a very good job on the floor. Picked up some items. Still no damage, but we have flight. Flies are our friends, and we have little plum, which will be able to do damage on its own. And if we could get like uh, 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 some trinkets, maybe we could get that homing trinket that makes the, homing, the familiar's home or something. And even if we don't, Little Plum, you know, it's it's damage. It's it's trying. He's trying. Look at that. You know what? I'm gonna pick up the pennies. Okay, three red hearts. What does it give us? Dinner. Well, now we know. So if we get three red hearts, we can get HP upgrades, and that's a cheap recipe for HP. Now, it is possible that some recipes are the same run after run and they're not actually seeded. I, I actually do remember that in the patch notes. It said most recipes are random, so there might be static recipes in the game. Charged key is very good. And if we get... Yo, friendly fly or obsessive follower fly is really good here. Um, if we get some, you know, repeatable recipes, maybe after a few runs we'll be able to identify them, or maybe we can just look them up. I'd rather not look them up, though. It's fun to experiment on your own. That was easy. There's a lot of hearts on the ground. Oh, my. Oh, my. Let's keep exploring, though. It would be very uh, interesting to just, like, pick up all of the hearts and see if you can get a good recipe, but we already know that three red hearts and, and the rest being pennies is a good recipe. So that's uh, a ghost chest. It's a good good ghost chest! Okay, that's way better. Should not have picked that up, but whatever. Can I put this in the bag? No. Still can't. Fine. Fine. Um, so let's, uh... Let's do the alt path side. We'll see what we get. We want consumables, so... Having more floor is probably a good thing. And on this side, you know, I'm just gonna pick up the items. I could, in theory, keep everything on both sides and then pick up items or pick up consumables once we're done, but 
We don't gotta worry about it that much. That's a golden penny, huh? I guess we're gonna put it in the bag. <laughs> I guess we're going for an early expensive recipe, so sure, golden penny. Boss, did we fight? I forget. It was you. Alright, you're not that bad. Definitely not with our obsessed fan just wrecking you. Still not done yet? Ooh, ah, you almost hit me there. He's kind of going awful fast here. Oh God. Still, we got him. We got him. All right, what do we got? You know what? Give me the uh, heart. Let's see what we have. Marbles, choking hazard. Uh, I don't want any of those, so I'm not gonna take those. I like the sigil of Baphomet that I already have, so let's just go. Still, Choking Hazard is, is actually pretty good. Uh, whenever we take damage, we have a chance of swallowing our trinket, which means that we'll keep the sigil of Baphomet forever. I would love for that to happen. Um, let's, uh... Ooh, not Bill Murray. Thank you very much for the resub. Claw, claw, claw. Ka ka ka. Well, ka 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 to you too, my ka friend. Mom's coin purse. All right. Well, we got a lot of pills. You know what? Put the pills in the bag. Put the pills in the bag, man. Put the pills in the bag. And um, what do we have here? Two hearts. Sure. Give me some hearts. Akeldama, spill your guts. I I don't remember which one this is. Um, I'm just gonna grab the key and we'll grab the uh, nickel and then we'll leave. There we go. Whoop. All right, things are going pretty well so far. We can't go down to the alt path, but if we want to, we can just pick up a couple of bombs. We don't need to do anything on this run. This is just a, a fun run, so we can end it wherever we want, however we, however we want. Okay, now Akeldama's working. It is kind of a weird item. I don't quite understand it, but you know, it puts bullets on the screen. I guess literally, <laughs> so I'll take it. Okay, so we have a charged key and a nickel. We're, we're starting to accumulate, in theory, some relatively decent uh, consumables. Um, pay to play, we could get into locked doors using a penny. That's not bad, but let's try to... I mean, it's really not bad, but we can pick up keys if we need keys. Yeah, let's let's swap out a heart for a penny. Eternal Feather. I'm actually gonna take that. It's an active item, but it's a decent enough active item that can hopefully, you know, allow us to more easily kill bosses, which we're probably gonna have a bit of a hard time with since we don't have much damage. because we still have no damage upgrades. How do, oh right, I forgot that, uh, yeah. I forgot that that actually does damage, it's not just creep. There goes our uh, chance at a deal with the angel at some point. As soon as we get a deal with the angel though, we're gonna get access to eternal hearts, which will give us some good, you know, fuel for the recipe system. You dick. <laughs> And I'm just gonna, I see the tinted rock. I'm just gonna, like, oh my god, taking so much damage. I'm just gonna start slowly accumulating things into the bag and just make some items, hopefully. 
find a good cheap recipe for something. Because we freaking need it, dude. Okay, that's good because it's items. Um, okay, expensive stuff will stay on the ground for a bit. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna find a good cheap recipe. Although we do know of good cheap recipes, in particular, two red hearts is a uh, HP upgrade. So we should try to, try to do that again. Speed up. We don't need a speed upgrade, so we're gonna try to reroll this one. You know, I suppose what I should do is I should put seven pennies and one bomb into the bag and see if it actually still gives me um, the finger, because I don't know, maybe it will. I don't know how it works. Syringe. We'll take this speed up, but that is closer to spun too. Uh, let's fight the boss. Why? Because we have this, and you're dead. That's a dime, oh my lord. That's good. Is there a key in there? No. We do need a key to go to the uh, item room at some point. Still, I'm happy. That dime is gonna give us some good fodder for our recipes. We have to find a key to get into the item room. We don't need to go to the shop, really. I mean, I guess you could. Like, oh, thank you. You could, um... Well, I guess we're gonna pick up the penny. Uh, I guess you could pick up all the pennies to try to turn them into uh, better consumables in the shop by, like, buying... Well, first of all, you could probably buy Birthright if you tried, but to be able to buy things like, um, you know, just other items. Like, buy compost, turn it into consumables, and then you maybe, maybe you'll get a lucky penny. Maybe you'll get a, a red heart, or coins, or black hearts, or whatever. Do, 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 do. Let's go to the item room first. There is still a lot of, like, backtracking. Golden bomb. Okay, I can't exit the room, so I am gonna put the golden bomb in the bag, and we're gonna make a, a expensive as hell item. Golden bomb, we're gonna put the dime in the bag, any uh, nickels we find, we're gonna make something good. This will be the best item we make for quite a while, in all likelihood. Man, we do need a tears up or something. If I take one more damage, I can actually go into the mob trap room too, or the boss trap room too, which could be kind of nice. Ah. Although it's gonna hurt. So why don't we, um, although we have, um, we have the eternal feather charged up. Let's, let's do it. Let's get some more consumables on the ground. Not what I meant to do. Sorry, I meant to hit this button. Spacebar. Yeah, they all missed. Okay, we'll pick it up. I'm gonna pick up the HP. We're also gonna pick up the bomb and the key so we can just have items. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll live. We'll live. We're not affected by creep, and this guy is not that bad. I just I really expected freaking uh, Eternal Feather to do you know anything. That was dumb. I just stood in his face. Oh my god. We are gonna make the most expensive item ever, though. Oh my god. Oh god, he was on top of me. Sorry, I was scared. Oh lord, he loo. How about you? Man, we are in desperate need of damage. <laughs> Very low damage. Thank you, uh, Revenge Fly. It's a shame that you got nerfed like way back when in the day. 
I think he got nerfed when Repentance came out or something, but he's still good. He's a, he's a good, good flyboy. This is a, a weird run where our, our familiars are doing most of our damage, but it feels nice. Okay. So we'll go back, we'll pick up the dime, and um, we'll try to get in, try to get an item. Protacula says, the first tainted cane item I made was Psyfly. Got a regular room with two eternal hearts on basement one. That seems lucky, you lucky duck. I want the HP, put a penny in the recipe, see what we get. A present. Um, that's not good enough. With, with, with the expense of this item, two golden bombs, two blue hearts, we need something better. Sci-Fly, okay, well we're gonna take Sci-Fly. Cause <laughs> he's Sci-Fly. It, it's not as good, it's got a cooldown now. Ah, oh, man. Gladair says the first item I made was portable slot immediately disappointed. Yeah Um, Do you oh do we want sci-fly it is good? Uh, but we have no damage Fine, I'll take freaking sci-fly it still smacks all right, we'll take sci-fly I'll uh, put some of this stuff in the bag and we'll we'll make it work probably get another item. Actually, is there, are there a lot of pennies around? Can I see if we can... No, I can't see if we can make a finger. So you know, just put stuff in the bag. Y oh, yo! Doubling familiars sounds dope. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Let's see if we can find a secret room. I, I don't know if, if we would need to, but I, I do remember if you put, if you get rid of an item in a room, you get consumables related to that room. So I kind of want to see if we can find the secret room, which uh, is not going to be there. It's actually not going to be up. That was dumb of me for even checking. Try here. Okay, this is actually quite good. I need one more bomb. We'll get one later. Eternal Feather is still really freaking good, though. <laughs> I can't get rid of Eternal Feather. Ah, as much as I want to. Maggie's Bow. That's very good. HP up plus you feel healthy. HP is now worth more. And we need the HP anyway, so I'm glad we took it. Speaking of HP. Why, I, why am I getting, hold on, why am I getting damage? What's going on? Why is my damage 4.4? <laughs> Adrenaline, oh thank you, right, okay, okay. I thought, I thought things were uh, glitching out a little bit. No, they're they're fine, they're fine. Um, let's um, try to launder a little bit. I gotta fly out of it though. Skatol would be kind of funny. <laughs> I was gonna say, we don't get it actually, but it would be kind of amusing if it, if it, you know, came up. So now I'm like, dude, let's see if we can get the finger. All right, well, we're not going to, but at least we got, you know, this. I'll take a key, put those in the bag, pajamas. It's actually blue candle now, not the finger. Although blue candle as a damaging item is dynamite. We're gonna take it. Oh my god, and then, okay, and then, because now we got this. And then we'll put this, this, and this in the bag. And is there anything in the shop that we wanna buy? Because apparently we can put stuff directly into our uh, our bag from the shop. That's what people tell me. You know what, for seven cents, we get a random assortment of, of consumables. So why don't we grab these two pennies and see what we get. If we get another spirit heart or more, actually if we get a spirit heart, we probably just want to pick it up. Yeah, cause like, I'd really like to get a deal with the angel. And then we'll put the rest of this in our bag. 
27 minutes, Flooded Caves 2. <laughs> not the not the fastest run. Demon Baby. We got a lot of familiars on this run. Let's uh, swap it up a bit. Lodestone? Mag magnetizing? Would it make our familiars be magnetized to enemies? That's too interesting not to pass up. If we can make our tears magnetize our familiars on top of the enemies, then that should be good damage output. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> this floor has been long. Okay, you know, I like it. Oh, another Curse of the Blind, I hate it. I guess we're just gonna, well, I, I, uh, I really don't wanna get rid of the, sorry, I had to itch my eye. Um, I really don't wanna get rid of the uh, candle, if we accidentally get rid of the candle, but it's still probably worth it. So I, w I wonder, can we Akeldama the enemy with Lodestone? Like, will will the Lodestone make our Akadama bullets go directly into the enemy? It, it, it works! Okay, so this is a great synergy, Akeldama Lodestone. I'm glad I went for it. Look at it. Where are you? My tears are in you. You can't escape. That's that's pretty sweet. I like that. I mean, that's kind of exactly what I wanted, except I was thinking more of like the uh, the the little plum. All right, what do we get? The ladder. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's it's not like the most damage ever, but it's it's fun. We'll uh, put cheap stuff in our bag for now. We'll get the more expensive stuff later. We still have like no damage. <laughs> but we do have the candle, which is kind of all you need. I'd also like to not take damage so I get a guaranteed deal with the angel on this floor. That would be fantastic. Let's try our best not to take so much damage. Oh, battery charge. I don't think it's actually worth all that much because it's a partial charge, so I'm just gonna put it in the bag. Bomb, oh, I'm gonna take one in case we come across a tinted rock, but other bombs go in the bag. I don't remember like previous winning good cane runs, I just remember certain like combinations of items. What the heck? So I don't really know what to be looking for as far as items goes, but in a lot of situations we really just don't have a choice. Ball of tar. I'll take it, you know, I'll take any good cheap item. This is gonna be greed. Told ya. And Sci-Fly is still doing a good job, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. Hold on, I gotta do this. That's a lot of money. We might as well just take something. Little Loki, sure, more familiars. So if we get uh, two red hearts on the ground, we know that that's an HP upgrade, so we should try our, our best to make that happen quick. We need health. Our health is pretty low at this stage of a of an Isaac run. Gonna end up losing candle. I mean, honestly, if we lose the candle, I'm not really that upset because we we have. I hate to say it, we have a replacement candle in Lodestone Akeldama. Like, if we have to use that to kill a boss, we have to use that to kill a boss, and we can make it work. It won't be ideal, but it'll get the job done. Okay, there's our guaranteed deal with the angel. We, we also, we can't, oh, we should not have done it like this. 
Yeah, cause oh, this would be a bit of a mistake. Yeah, cause now I actually can't look at the item unless I take all of the consumables down with me to the next floor, which I, I think I'm gonna do. Because I really want to make sure I get a good angel item out of this. So we're gonna, right, we just get that. We're gonna put stuff in our bag. And then at this point, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna take everything and go. Like I'll put some stuff in the bag, red hearts, you know, if we can't hold them. But I really want to see what we can get out of an eternal heart. So yeah, I'd probably screwed this up a little bit, but we can stock up on consumables now and then in the future, turn those into more items via like shops. But really it's Curse of the Blind. I should not have fought the boss then. I should have fought the boss later when we were done with the floor and after we had like accumulated a few random items, but this is still not bad. It just means that we're gonna have a little bit less, you know, random items. It's not like we can even choose our items on this floor anyways. It's all random. Can't see anything. It's too too blind in here, it's too dark in here. Although, dude, we're, we can stack up something really good in theory. Oh my lord. <laughs> I, I will absolutely, I ran into you. I will absolutely get, you know, one super item per floor. Burkano, I'm just gonna pop it. So, I'm just gonna pick all this up. Again, this is just a, uh, this is a consumable floor, you know? We're just gonna take our time, grab some consumables, get what we can. In before random black candle. I mean, in theory, we could have gotten a black candle if we kept, kept getting random items, but again, I kind of screwed it up, didn't I? Then again, we have like a lot of money now, so I'm kind of happy with this. This ended up not going too, too badly. Um, let's see what we get. Health up, dude. Black, sorry, not black. Uh, red, white pill giving us a health up. I'll take it. Put the dime in the bag and now we leave. We leave, but it was a good floor nonetheless. Now, if we go alt path, we can get more items, like another item room and shop. I don't, it's, it's a hard floor. <laughs> Let's just go the normal path, please. Synchronics, welcome. Is it just me or does Isaac feel harder after all the updates? It is definitely harder after all the updates, but um, the game is still fun. And, you know, the, the game gets harder as you unlock things for the most part. So it's, it's an evolving experience. The D6, no, quite honestly, might be the most useless item. There goes our deal with the angel chance, but it's not like it was big anyways. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna look for like a, a penny, I think. You know, admittedly, maybe we should have just taken the tears up from the rosary. Because it is still a tears upgrade. You know what? I still got the candle. Now let's see what the key gives us here. Replace the bomb with the key. Um, this is horrible because <laughs> this it's Genesis. But if we Genesis, we have to make items from scratch again, which I guess could be good. But I like the items we have. I like the fact that we, you know, have weird homing Akeldama shots. I don't want to get rid of this. So I think we're gonna say no to Genesis, unfortunately, because it is a good item, just not for us. Let's try a card. What, what is the card? The moon? Maybe we'll uh, keep, we can keep the card for a minute. It's not like we gotta get rid of it immediately. There's also gonna be another card on the floor once we get the fool card. Um, 
Oh, right, I gotta drop it so I can flip. Ah, screw it, I'm just gonna suck the moon in. Yo. Okay, hold up. D6 is the worst tainted cane item. Genesis, hold my beer. And we'll, we'll actually hold up. I'm not saying Genesis is useless, because it's actually better than the D6, because if you Genesis, you will be able to possibly re-roll your items if you don't like your run. Like, what if you've just gotten garbage items out of your uh, your bag? Maybe you had like a Curse of the Blind or something. Maybe you would like to have Genesis to get new consumables and then just re-roll everything. You never know. Is that a Stairway to Heaven? It is, which I kind of like because we can get items for sale and then get eternal hearts out of those items. So an angel shop per floor is good, but is it good enough to get rid of five blue hearts? I'm I'm going to I'm just going to do it because it is pretty good. It's not like amazing, but I think it's good enough to take, so I, I took it. We just need to pick up a lot of money now. It'll suck up your pennies. Yeah, so what? For the cost of a few pennies, we will possibly get uh, angel items. It's a good deal in my book. bag should still probably ooh, 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 should still probably put um, uh, pennies and hearts in the bag to try to get some more HP but our HP at five is like you know it's livable ice baby it's a complex recipe I'm not gonna remember it so I'm just gonna take the ice baby <laughs> which is still good racking up familiars is one way you can win this uh, this cane run Yes, please give me more blue hearts to shove in my bag. And pills? Wait, no, that was the oh, that was the HP upgrade pill, wasn't it? Necklace says I keep thinking of membership. Membership. I mean, membership is also not a bad item because you get the oppor you get the opportunity. Well, I guess it is a bad item. Yeah, that would be pretty bad because you would be spending money to get random consumables out of the money you would be spending. Yo, it's damage. So it would probably be pretty awful. Oh God. The bomb fly blew up the donation machine. You know what? It's a lot of a lot of pennies. Uh, let's uh, put another penny in the bag. I don't know what this one is. What is what is one bomb? Did we learn that? Blue candle. We already had that. Um, let's go. Let's go get something else and put it in this bag. See what we get. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's another uh, fly follower, which could be kind of interesting. Put some keys in the bag. Some pennies in the bag. Ugh. Let's go back. What is one heart? Hold on. One heart is... <gasps> consolation prize! One heart is consolation prize? That's absurd. There's our damage upgrade. I bought that and put it in the bag, which I guess is not the worst. <gasps> Blanket? Yo, these are good items. These are really good items. Okay. Now, I don't know if one heart, seven pennies is always consolation prize, but that is absurd. That is a fantastic item if you can get it. I mean, consolation prize solves your damage problem on a run like this. 
because it's like freaking infinite damage. You just keep getting it and it'll keep upping your damage. By the way, there's Spun, so I'm very thankful for that as well. Okay, we're, we're gonna... I mean, I think we're gonna win this run now that we have some damage. Our tiers are still awful, like our tier rate, but at least we have something to like lean on. Save money for the angel shop? Nah. <laughs> Too late! Too late! I've already forgot slash bought what I needed to buy, although we probably should have, you know, not purchased the freaking uh, D whatever the heck it was that was in there. Battery. The D battery, yeah, there you go. Why is that not an item in the game? The D battery. You'll probably figure out what recipes are fixed when you see them. Is it like uh, eight pennies? You know, if I had five cents, I would love to do this, but uh, I need a bomb to do it, which we don't have. That's still fine. I didn't think about it, but yeah, Eternal Hearts being in the shop, that's just something you can put in your bag immediately. That's that's a good item. Now, of course, now that I have um, been to one of those shops and I've gotten nothing out of it, I'm like, man, I really should not have taken that. <laughs> I should have done something else. Libra, huh? No, I, I don't want it. You know, maybe I should have... Uh, Save my money and maybe bought something a little bit more interesting. Or not, sorry, not money. Maybe I should have saved the eternal hearts and blue hearts and turned it into a better item. But whatever. The run is still good enough. It's still interesting enough. Charged key. Zit. No, I don't want the zit. Stupid zit shot. Uh, Mega Bombs. I mean, it's a lot of bombs, I guess, but not really what I'm thinking. Oh! I forgot. <laughs> I was invincible for a second and then I got hit because I forgot how those enemies operated. Hello, Monstro. Hello, Monstro, my old friend. You're gonna get lodestoned again. It's an eternal heart. Okay, we gotta, we gotta make a good item here. Come on, come on. Latch key, not a good item. Uh, Dump the red heart at a nickel. Mom's contacts. I will take mom's contacts. Yeah, that's good enough. Dave just trying to burn a beggar alive. Yep. <laughs> if only I, uh, you know, if only it would actually do it. I wonder if there's like a sci-fi tell, like if, for how charged he is ready to block shots or something. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts is actually pretty good. Queen okay. <laughs> well, let's uh, discover a recipe, shall we? No. Mm, no. Although that's a good recipe. Why not? Let's get a second one. Fruity plum. And then what's uh, eight red hearts? Yum heart. All right, well. Th is that a seeded re That's got to be a seeded recipe. It's eight red hearts. Okay, so, so what's... Yo, super bandage! So what's like um, eight bombs? Mr. Mega or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. They're thematic items. Maybe eight keys is like 99 keys. Yo, 
Oh, you know what? Maybe that's actually how it, what it is. Because then you don't have to worry about picking up bombs or picking up keys or picking up hearts. You have a way of replenishing them on your own so you can leave them for recipes. Eight mega bombs is Mama Mega as a recipe. Eight mega, you mean the bombs that get thrown up by those enemies in the alt path? <laughs> and they explode the ground? If you have eight of those, that's a, uh, that's a guaranteed payout? That's crazy. I mean, that's cool, but how the heck are you, how, are you, how the heck are you gonna make that happen? Very carefully is probably the answer. A blast of cyst. You cyst son of a. Yeah, this run is, you know, it's starting to look pretty good, isn't it? I'll take one key. Another speed up. I mean, we actually don't need a speed up, so. You know, drop the sun card, put it in the freaking recipe, see what you get. Portal, uh, portal's not necessary. Boom, not necessary. Sa safety scissors would work? That'd be hard, but. Oh good, I don't have any money. <laughs> We should not have taken this. <laughs> we should. I will take regeneration. We should have. Uh, we should have definitely saved for a different item. I'm getting no value out of the the stairway at all. <laughs> Portal's like the worst one. It is pretty bad because it does uh, take consumables on the ground in order to work. But it is also a teleport, and I don't know if they changed where it can teleport you to, but to teleport to secret rooms for the cost of like five pennies, it's not that bad. To teleport to, I don't know if it can teleport you to ultra secret rooms, but maybe. It'd be cool if it did allow you to do that. If you have a guaranteed Oh, we have a guaranteed deal with the angel. So let's do our best to keep our HP intact for that. I think that's a secret room. It's got a lot of good stuff in it too. We'll, we'll check out the card before we dump, dump it in a recipe. That's another sun card, huh? Well, I hate to say it, but you're getting dumped into a recipe. I'm not gonna take this. Glyph of Balance, um, it'll only drop certain consumables if you don't have those consumables, but I want a random assortment of consumables, I think. So I, I don't think Glyph of Balance is what we would be interested in right here. You son of a gun. Okay, don't get hit. We're at the boss fight. Fight the boss, don't get hit, get your deal with the angel. Get your eternal hearts. Hey, box spiders. We've got good fires. If I can actually like land the freaking fires though. Oh! Oh, I had protection! Always have protection! Absorb my bullets! We live. We gotta deal with the devil! <laughs> Wait a minute. This isn't this isn't what I wanted. 
We'll probably still take it just so that we can get like black hearts or something. Maybe get a deal with the devil item, but this isn't what I wanted. Sure, give me a black heart. Give me a black heart. Then put those. Oh, good. Rotten heart. Put that in the bag. Uh, shears, which is fine. Halo. You know, it is an all stats upgrade. I hate to say it. I, I know we, we cost ourselves one HP, but we did get tears and damage out of that, so it's not really that bad. We have the Polaroid, right? Yeah. Could be better, could be worse. Oh well. Fredacula says eight cracked keys. Glade, Glade Air says that, that gives you red key. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, I mean, yes, use this, but also use this. Eight cracked keys for a red key. How would you how would you get eight cracked keys? D1. I I, I answered my own question. If you have a D1, you could get those particular assortment of, of special recipes. It would work. That would work. Just trying to like maneuver my Akeldama as much as possible because that's most of my damage because my tears are still awful. I miss the fire with my fire. Get out of here, you dumb fire. You dumb fire! Nope, this button. <laughs> Always make that mistake every single freaking time. No matter what character I'm playing, not even Kane here. I wonder if they made any changes to the Forgotten. Like, I wonder if they made it easier or harder to use his bone throw. You know what? We'll figure it out, though. We'll figure it out. We got a lot of time to play this game. Right, that's why we should be going into those curse rooms. We have regeneration. I almost ran into him thinking he was an icicle. He was not an icicle. He was just stunned. D1 doesn't have a fixed recipe, but D infinity does, says Gladair. That's probably eight dice shards <laughs> going by, uh, you know, popular history here. Yo, I will definitely take Contagion. I wonder what eight pennies gives you. Is it still a portable slot? It's probably still portable slot, if I had to guess. Ugh. You took Contagion like a week ago, says GT Quark. But a ch Rude. Mm -hmm. This is probably not worth it, but we did get one single free play out off of it, off of the invincibility. Don't forget about the candle, too. I know you want to keep using the Alkaldama tears, but you do have candles. There you go. I'm just waiting for that to happen. I'm waiting for the, um... I'm waiting for the, uh... ability to just have my tears get sucked into the enemy. You create flies that are actually my flies. You dope.
Magnetism. <laughs> what, what'll this do to Akeldama? Oh no. Let's find out. I don't think it does anything to Akeldama, <laughs> but it would be funny if it did. Yes, get those Akeldama shots in there. Is still so bad. Cyfly so took a break. I saw him. He was like, I'm hitting the bullets. Nope. No, I'm not. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Yo. Put it in the bag. Let's go. I only have one key. Wait a minute. <laughs> Um, okay, what is this? Oh my god, it's all random. Oh no. I should have taken the golden key, I'm so dumb. It's okay, we can come up here and blow this guy up. What is this? Alabaster box. It's awful, however, we also now get meat cleaver. It's awful, but now we got two freaking uh, <laughs> turtle hearts. <laughs> um, well, you know what we can do? Meat cleaver these guys. Now there's two of them. Does this give you two key pieces? It does! <laughs> key piece. Oh, you get two of the same key piece. We're learning so much about how this game operates. By the way, there's Mega Satan's door done. I didn't really think about this, but I guess now we have the opportunity to do Mega Satan. <laughs> All right, well, that was weird. That was unexpected. Three Curse of the Blind and one Tainted Cane Run, bruh. Yeah, I am kind of bruh about this one. This is pretty, pretty bruh heavy. You know what? Get split. See if I care. I can't even see anything. What does this give me? The halo. Okay, well, I'll take it. Give me a little bit of health too. Why are there so many greeds? Uh, imagine me uh, cleavering this room and creating two enemies for every greed. Two greeds for every greed. And then having like the battery charge so you can make quadruple greeds. That would be a fun time. I would love to have quadruple greeds on this run. That'd be great. Also, I have no money. I didn't drop anything. Beautiful. Could you like die, please? I need a freaking, uh. Um. What's the item <laughs> that makes it so that your tier is one giant bullet? Ludovico. I need a Ludovico so that all the enemies will get sucked up. What is this? The map. Oh, beautiful. Well, you know what? That, that actually does help a little bit. I was gonna, gonna complain for a second, but you know, I'll, I'll take a map. Why would you ever want to make two of all enemies? That just makes your life hard. Why is there a full-sized one of you? Why is there another full-sized one of you? What is going on? I guess if you have like AOE damage somehow, you would want to split the enemies, but that still seems like a horrible idea. All right, sure, let's, let's have a... Uh, Eight mega fatties. They're not really that mega anymore, but you know, have one of those. Oh god, he summoned an enemy. It was also really tiny. <laughs> they have less than half HP. Okay, so it's not it's not a 
a literal split. They actually do have less than half HP. That's interesting. I thought it was a 50% uh, health sort of a deal. I should just let the uh, little flies do their, their business. Okay, let's go pick up some of these items because there are four chests, or three chests remaining. And now I have keys. And now I have another key. And now I have no more keys. Sad day. What is this? Let's see. Two nickels and a red heart. The swarm. That's actually not bad. You complete a room, you get uh, you get a friend. Boom, ten bombs. Sure, why not? Pretty not great items, but I'll take them. I just need more rate of fire. Like we picked up one fire rate increase, and it was the halo, I think. Well, although we did get two halos, I don't know if they stack. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the cleaver on like the worst room I can think of. The next time we get a room that's like eight million greeds, I'll just double them just for the lulls. I mean, this is pretty bad. How about uh, six horsemen? You know, like, if they're gonna be tossing out bombs killing each other, that's good for me. <laughs> I should have done it here. <laughs> Although they died very quickly. Oh, dude, what if... Can you use this to double up, like, raw bosses? Like, could you double up Delirium and fight two Deliriums? Oh, it doesn't work on bosses. On, like, boss bosses. That's unfortunate. That would have been pretty funny. Well, regardless, we're gonna win. We're gonna make it out of this run. And it was fun. We learned a little bit about Tainted Cane, I think. Do you get sucked into the bomb? You do, okay. So that's a good combination, huh? Yeah, we learned a little bit. New, uh, new, well, actually, we're, I guess we're not done yet, are we? Let's go fight Mega Satan. Why? Because why not? Let's do one more room, though. I want to get, uh... I want to get another item. I want to get another item that completely breaks the run. In a good way or a bad way, I don't care. I didn't even split you. There's just this many of these freaking corn poops. How much corn did you eat? There we go. What do we got? Undefined. Okay, well now we have another eternal heart. <laughs> Damn it. This run is so long. It's an hour long. That's kind of what the tainted, uh, well not all tainted cane runs, but a lot of tainted cane runs I feel end up being a little on the long side. Long, long run. Nothing? See, now I now I want to get one more consumable because, you know, now I have one eternal heart. I want to get some value out of this. Whoops. Hallowed ground. That's actually not that bad. All right, let's go fight Mega Satan. Maybe I should have picked up the key and used it on the chest. Whatever. We're out. Follow Bear, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Welcome to the Isaac. Welcome to Isaac. So we got Sci Fly, we have weird lodestone shots. Should help protect us to some degree against uh, Mega Stan here. Let's keep this hallowed ground as long as we can. Let's also get in there with our. Um, Lodestone Akaldama. Is that an explosive? That's a very slow moving explosive shot. What the heck? Did you see that? He like got sucked into me. It's okay, that was just our um, holy mantle protection anyways. But still, I, I, I do 
do think that was a little silly. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> our poop is immediately gone. Not our poop. I needed that to live. Alright, you back yet? You ready to go again? Is that a new sound effect? That might be a new sound effect. What's going on up here? Your hand was was a little bit funky. That's right, I'm gonna call it. Your hand was funky. It's like when they get hit by the the magnetism, they get screwed up somehow. Are they afraid? Or... It's afraid! It's afraid! Oh god. Oh. God, you son of a... Didn't think I would be doing Mega Satan on this Tainted Cane run. <laughs> Ah, we got some regen, we'll be fine. Luckily, I've got these two plums. Oh, man. Without them, I'd be in, I'd be in trouble. Thank God for the plums. And this, like, really strange Akeldama nonsense. Although sometimes I do think that the tears following me are enemy tears and I try to run away from them. <laughs> it has happened on occasion. On more than one occasion. Ah! Okay, hold on, hold on. What? He's moving! I guess that's like the whole Akeldama thing in Lodestone, huh? Causes weird movements. And not of the bowel variety. Are you not dead yet? Please die. Thank you. Polo Bear says, What are your thoughts on Back for Blood? Quirk says, Back for Blood is fun. Don't die. Let the let the regen heal you if you can. Polo Bear says, Agreed. I've been enjoying it too. Maybe stop shooting for a minute, I don't know. He's still going, huh? Gotta like, try to focus a little bit here. Quirk says, I can't wait for all the cards to be unlocked. Mighty Odin says, Isaac is a garbage game for garbage babies. Excuse me? Okay, Sci-Fly still kicks ass. Even if he has it like a weird cooldown associated with him. Paula Bear says, seriously, it's so hard to when you want to make a build, but you're missing some good cards in Back for Blood. Get good noob, unlock your cards. Okay, thank you, Lodestone. Ooh, careful! At least this isn't ass backwards. Oh my god, I hate that challenge. There we go. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Back for Blood's been pretty fun. I've been having fun with it myself. I'm not gonna go fight Delirium. You stupid. Good run. Kane complete. I've been having a lot of fun on these runs. I have. And so now we know, I think that there are some. Specific recipes. Um, you could probably get 99 bombs, 99 keys. Uh, eight red hearts is probably going to be yum heart. It makes sense because if you get a lot of hearts, you can then heal without the need of picking up the hearts. So you can kind of invest in getting more consumables later because you don't have to pick them up. You can just put them in your sack. Interesting. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching this long Isaac run of Tainted Cain.